What's going on, bottom line viewers? It's Mitch back here with the one, the only Dilly Vanilli. We are here to talk about one of the tight ends on the free agent market. Tyler Croft has been signed, formerly of the Cincinnati Bengals. He is now a part of the Buffalo Bills. So he will take over for Charles Clay, and hopefully he can catch the ball in the back of the end zone wide open. We will find out very shortly. Um, Croft is a player that's been a backup his whole career. And he had a little bit of a moment there a year ago where he looked like a pretty nice player in place of Tyler Eifert. Now the problem this year in terms of his statistics, you're going to look at them and be like, uh, he didn't do anything. Why are we paying him any money at all? <laughs> is because Tyler Eifert was there and then he got injured basically. So he didn't really have a chance to produce. Um, but then you could also say to me, Hey Mitch, why wouldn't he produce? Why wouldn't they actually play him with Tyler Eifert if he was actually good? I don't know. Uh, so we're going to get into that. <laughs> so Tyler Croft, I think he's okay. Uh, he's had one season in 2017 with uh, 42 catches on 62 targets, 404 yards, seven touchdowns. So I think he's probably an upgrade at, at Charles Clay at this point in his career. He's only 26, going to be 27 years old, and he's a pretty versatile tight end. Like he, He's a decent blocker. He is a pretty good receiver, and of course, seven touchdowns. Something has to go right in the course of that season for him to get seven touchdowns. So yeah. I, I wouldn't pay him probably to I, – like I wouldn't be really comfortable – with paying him a ton of money and, and they paid him like six per year. So mm -hmm. I'm kind of up in the air with this because I really haven't seen enough from him outside of that season for me to really be sold on the move. But I do think that they have upgraded at this position and obviously the bills have a ton of salary cap, so it doesn't really matter. And, and we got to figure that because they didn't get Antonio Brown, they need to spend their money on targets. They need to spend it somewhere whether that's tight end, receiver, running back. And they've signed Frank Gore. They're trying to get some more talent offensively because we know that talent on offense last year was not there whatsoever. Oh. So hopefully Tyler Croft can fulfill his potential and can be similar in terms of production to last season. Dylan, do you have any thoughts on Tyler Croft? This is, this is a weird one. Like like you said, I mean, Foster had four catches for 36 yards. He didn't do jack, you know what. Um, and considering you're going to give this guy uh, 18.75 mil, that's uh, quite a decent amount for a guy that hasn't really proven himself. But if you look at 2017's numbers, you see seven touchdowns on 42 catches. That means he has a touchdown one sixth of the time he has the ball. That's pretty, that's pretty nice. You know, I'd like I'd like that production. I would say so. Um, if he's able to have that kind of run, then this is solid. This is a really good thing, and it is an upgrade from Charles Clay, who. As you mentioned, can't catch a ball that's wide open. So um, having that as an upgrade, if he can put up 2017 numbers, uh, something like that, I think it's worth it. And like you said, they need targets. It's just he hasn't proven a lot in the NFL for me to be like, yeah, I'm sold on this guy. I'm ready for him to go and do something. But the Bills need players. So uh, I will give this a mediocre grade. We'll see how he goes uh, going forward. I think also a product of this just – is the fact that there's not a lot of great tight ends out there to sign. There is not a lot of great tight ends in the NFL. There mm -hmm. is probably four really good tight ends. And then after that, there's some good ones, but there's nobody that really sticks out. Um, and then there's a list of just average guys. Mm -hmm. And I think Croft <laughs> in that average group. And to me personally, to pay a guy that much money that is not proven, that is hopefully you really think you must be sold to some degree to pay this guy yeah. six annually that he can be at least a, a good tight end, a, a solid force for your team. Because if not, what's the point of paying this guy? You might as well just go out there and draft a guy that's just the same talent. So they must be sold in some degree. We'll have to see if the Bills really, if the, if Croft comes through and, and backs up what the Bills think about him. Or, you know, you could have drafted one. So this is a good year for the tight end in the draft. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens with a Croft. I'm rooting for him. Uh, he de definitely has some talent. He has some speed. He has some ability to catch the ball, but we'll see if he can fulfill that contract. Uh, Mitch and Dilly Vanilli, the bottom line view. If you guys enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. 
for more NFL. We'll see you next time. Peace out. Peace.